Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Look Club. We're getting lucky with St. Patrick's Day looks. We are being inspired by green and orange, the traditional uh, Irish tricolor. Is that, that's what it's called. And I'm excited too, Danielle, um, to do these colors. I, uh, I often, for St. Patrick's Day, do a, a layer of a lot of greens. So I think it'll be fun to do this Satsuma, which brings in that orange color. And we're using um, Irish Channel Bolt Bomb that has that green and orange. And I love it so much. Oh, cute. You got the little, the little fun size. Fun size. And um, we are also, our green is Designer and Emerald AB. Emerald AB. I will never get used to putting that in the right spot. <laughs> and, um, and then we're also using Gin Fizz Power Pigment, which is like glitter made of air. Well, actually glitter that behaves like air, but glitter that's made of minerals. Um, and there we go. And I'm also going to use Golden Hour. I know that. I'm going to try a new eyeshadow technique it's not new very, i mean but i've never done it so cool I can't, wait to, I can't wait to see it's um i i do it for for drag i've done it and then a lot of like beauty bloggers are so good at doing it but like when you do the concealer in the middle and then yeah so i and i've done that for drag but i've done it on a level and i think when you do costume makeup and and are your performer and have a character you get stuck in doing things the same way so even though and this is what's fun about look club it's fun to uh kind of do something different so i'm gonna try to do that tonight and um also hello hello if you're just joining us uh say hello in the comments so we know who you are and um, tell us where you're watching from where are you watching from happy saint patrick's day no parade no problem we're we're gonna we'll we'll be the creepy guy that kisses you uh but we'll do it virtually and we won't be that creepy guy <laughs> um but we'll give you a road or a carnation <laughs> isn't that what they normally give yeah <laughs> yeah, carnations. I don't know. Sometimes I think they're like the plastic roses. Oh Sometimes yeah. Sometimes they're a pair of panties. I'm I'm trying to think of the weird things I've gotten on St. Patrick's Day. I got a cucumber one year. Mm. <laughs> um, that's gotta be here because they. I mean, I, cabbage is a normal thing, but then I didn't know we we're until we were in the Metairie Road Parade um, that they do. People throw all sorts of vegetables in that. And that's St. Patrick's Day parade. Um, and I rode with a float that was banned from throwing vegetables because they had uh, drunk idiots that tried to chunk it at people's heads. So we did not throw that. <laughs> um, we were on the party float and we were not ready. We were not ready mm -hmm. for what they had going on at six in the morning. <laughs> they were already like really drunk and possibly up from the night before. So our St. Patrick's Day. Like, I feel like I've heard of like multiple cabbage injuries from the St. Patrick's Day parade. Um, from people you know or just heard of it? Um, Ooh, I like how the light catches your hair, Katie. It looks really awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, um, I've uh, I got two different colors. I'm kind of working in in my shampoo, so appreciate it. And then I'm gonna swim this weekend and ruin it all, but I'm excited. So, <laughs> um, oh, I have uh, another thing I want to talk about. So, people, if you're just joining. Say hello so we know you're here. But also, you know, I just realized we are coming up on, I just realized, we are definitely coming up on one year since COVID. And um, Danielle, I think a Thursday would be a year ago that we went to a br the Bridal Bash, which to me and Danielle, I think was when the world really, that was our last hurrah because we were still like, we don't know what's going on. And we went to a bridal event where we were all sanitizing and keeping distance, but we didn't really know and exactly what to expect yet. And everyone had such a great time. And we thought maybe this won't be so bad. And then we walked out of there like 
on a high, so excited, met so many awesome people. And then they're like, the NBA is canceled. And we're like, and the world's over. (laughs) Yeah, that was a weird, surreal night, wasn't it? Wow. Yes, it was. It was a lot of high and then a lot of lows. But um, I, uh, yeah. So where were you? Go ahead and comment. Where were you when you realized that, oh, shit. This is for real. It's real. Um, uh, Andrea is telling me to get a swim cap. Danielle, I think, has a swim cap, actually. Do you use it often, Danielle? Or What? Do I use what often? A swim cap. That's what Andrea suggested from a her. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for joining us. Let's Don't you have a swim cap? Comments. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, swim cap. I forgot my swim cap, but I I don't think I'm gonna get my hair wet this weekend. But a swim cap definitely helps a little bit. <laughs> it helps a little bit. Um, so besides the reminiscing on when the world ended, I was I wanted people if I know it's so hard for us to talk about it's easy to talk about all the shit that went wrong this year and complain and blah blah blah. But I, I was hoping if anyone was interested in, in uh, reminiscing and talk about all the stuff they learned the last year. Because I feel like I learned more in this last year than I have in, I don't know, maybe not my whole life, but probably in like five years put together. Um, so Andrea said her world ended was at the convention center in NOLA for work and the owner bribed place to let them keep our party for our customers um so yours ended similarly to ours which is like it's not real we're having a giant party oh wait no it's really it's here it's happening can Uh, you imagine the brides that were at bridal bash i mean wow what i thought a lot worse for them than us (laughs) but it was a little it was crazy it's crazy to think that was a year ago. It's like it feels short and long. But okay, so Danielle went um, went back to work, and and you've been um, a essential worker during this time. I'm sure. What what have you learned? What have you learned this year, Danielle? <laughs> I've learned to slow down a little bit and uh, take time for myself. Um, but still, you know, still maintaining as far as like, you know, getting the stuff done that I need to get done. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I think we were all, well, I guess I can't speak for everyone, but I was on a unsustainable pace pre pandemic. So I say the pandemic saved me from, uh, a breakdown. (laughs) <laughs> or horrible burnout at the very least. Exactly. Burnout, burnout, breakdown. But yeah, it was crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I'll say mine in just a sec. Uh, let's see. Pepper Glitter Pin says she learned how to get by with a smaller purse slash fanny pack. Wow. <laughs> we now slightly de- on a deeper level. <laughs> Um, but Marcy says, same, I always like fanny packs, but now they're all I use when I leave. <laughs> That's hilarious. I also am using one more, um, but, uh, yeah, that's so funny. Um, I, uh, I, I, I too, Danielle, I learned how to slow down, but you also were in, at an insane pace, not, not to where I, I would never be at that level probably. But, um, but, uh. Yeah, I think I definitely, not necessarily just slowing down, but since we were in event planning and I'm also a performer and, you know, comedian, and I, I think like I loved the adrenaline of things so much. And when all that went away, I was like, do I like event planning and, and performing or do I just like adrenaline and I don't like heights? I don't know. But um, so it definitely took me a minute to go, okay, I think I, I like, um, uh, you know, I, I, there are skills that I like about event planning, but also I just realized kind of the high and rush and thrill of an event is like kind of addictive. And it's, you know, when you're doing it all the time, it's not necessarily the best for you, but, but it is fun. Um, let's see. 
There, uh, Andrew is saying that she was sick before the show last year and after and likely had it, but we didn't know. I know so many people had it. I know that someone who worked for us, I swear, had it last year. And I never heard yeah, someone it's, like it's, that. It's interesting because I feel like I remember a lot of friends being sick around that time. And even like my cousin came from Michigan for Mardi Gras with uh, several of her friends and like, these kids were sick. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. We, we uh, always have a lot of people in our house. We really have a, I don't know, almost like a little, what would you call it? <laughs> Commune? No. <laughs> a bed and breakfast. <laughs> we're always hosting people. <laughs> Hello. 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 Dropped my beer. Um. Uh, Pepper was saying that they have the, her doctor hadn't seen any flu cases this year because everyone was wearing masks. I know I will say knock on wood. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That I um this is I have not been sick in since January of 2020, um, which is nice. It's very nice. All right, but yeah, I know I think it was definitely so many people got it probably early, but didn't. Wouldn't really know. Um, okay, so uh, fanny packs. We all learned. <laughs> we learned how to downsize in the purse area. Um, I'm proud of everyone. All right, so now I'm going to try. All right, got to try this thing. All right, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. Don't. So I know. think what you're doing. I feel like the 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 beauty vloggers or whatever they call it a cut crease. Is that what you're um, doing? I'm not really doing a cut crease. No, I'm not doing because that I don't have a steady enough hand for it. I mean, and again, I, I do that. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of doing more of a. Um, it's like kind of where it just looks like some of you just do kind of lighter, just right in the center, as opposed to I usually do a lighter color in my um, uh, kind of my inner corner of my eye. But instead of doing that, I'm going to do it on my lid in the center. And I mean, people do this all the time. I just never have done it personally. Um, let's see. Andrea learned one uh, that we don't need to go out to eat as often as we did. And online grocery shopping is here to stay. And I'm never going back. Nice. I still never did online grocery shopping. But I will say, like, I mean, we probably eat out once a month, maybe. Because and I, we just make every meal. And that's, that's definitely sticking, too. See, um, Patty said I'll be doing the same. Patty's looks Saturday for my unparade. Um, so yeah, uh, Pe Pepper Glitter Pants is having um, an outdoor unparade. <laughs> what is an unparade? And so, oh, and so she needs inspiration for looks. Okay, well, I'm feeling. Um, I'm gonna kind of mimic what I got going on over here, but this Satsuma orange is. I don't know if orange is my color. I'm thinking it ain't, but <laughs> it doesn't. It looks good on you. <laughs> I don't know. I think I just need to make it a little. Um, Isn't orange and purple like a sports team color? Yes. Isn't it? Um, didn't LSU play? That's who LSU played, right? Orange and purple. Mm, I think was it? No, that was orange and purple. That's what you said. That was last year or this year. Yeah, it was last year. But I can't. That's so weird to think about Clemson. That. Thank you, Andrea. Yes, Clemson, the people that gave the $2 bills. That's right. Remember sports? Not me anymore. <laughs> um, uh, Marcy says, I love grocery delivery. Do y'all have, what grocery delivery is, you don't have to pay for a membership? Because I felt like I checked at the beginning quarantine and then I never looked again um, and uh, but we got a Costco membership and man that is life-changing uh, Costco is just life-changing I can't even explain it Brian my husband even likes going grocery shopping now I used to have to go all the time but um, Florida is orange and purple oh yes Florida yeah, I don't know. Florida Comment University. below if you know the sports team that is green and orange. Oh, green and orange. Florida. Oh, green and orange. I thought you were saying purple and orange. Um, who's green and orange? 
don't know. Yeah, purple and orange is definitely Clemson. Green and orange? Yes. Um, Amazon Prime is free delivery for Whole Foods. I do have Amazon Prime and I have gotten, only got Whole Foods one time delivered and mainly I was like, what's the minimum delivery? I'll get that in pimento cheese. That's all I want. <laughs> it's the least healthy thing, but they have really good pimento cheese. And then um, they delivered, like they were like, yeah, we're out of pimento cheese. So we just gave you like everything else you ordered, which was like crackers for the pimento cheese. Um, Miami, Danielle, is orange and green. We got in oh. the count. The dolphins? No, the that's... hurricanes. The hurricanes. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh no, I can't find my my gel transformer. What what am oh, I no. doing? Oh no. I'm using my gel transformer currently for this orange. This little Satsuma. All right, well, that's a bummer. I guess I'm going to stick with the old liquid transformer today. Um, let's see. If the, Andrea says, if the COVID vaccine was a bolt bomb, what color would it be? <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know. I got it today. Do you, do we see any, I guess it would have to be a little purple. Um, the COVID vaccine was bull bomb. What color would it be? Gosh, I don't know. That's a good question. I think it, or should it be, what could it, should it just be opal unicorn because it's like shiny? I mean, it'd be like um, neon dream or something, you know, like it's that rainbow with all this cool neon colors in it. Marcy says she got her first one today too. Boom. Nice. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad that it's opening up to so many people now. That's awesome. Yep, yep, yep. I am happy too. Um, Pepper gets her second one Wednesday. I know, isn't it crazy that it's here? Like it just, it kind of like the goalposts just kept getting moved so far. You were like, couldn't really imagine it ever happening or that's how I kind of felt. So then when I was going today, I was like, what is this? Re it's here. What's happening? And everyone was so amazing. I went to the convention center in New Orleans and everyone was so nice. So where did you park? Um, actually, Brian drove me because he took my car and I was like, you need to hurry up. I don't have time to park now, but they actually have free parking. Um, oh. If you're getting a vaccine. So it was actually very easy. Um, Elizabeth got, one from Slide Dale to get the first day. Nice. Um, Marcy, I was holding back tears at CBS because I can see my family and hug. Yes. Oh, well, that it's nice to know you had the same experience at CBS because I felt like it was because I was at the convention center and there was a lot of people there. Like I probably came into contact with like 15 people, but everybody was so spread out because, you know, just to stay distance. And I, I mean, even probably everyone was 20 feet away from each other. But, um, but it was, uh, everyone was so nice and, and it was like, just a, like, I thought it was such a good experience. I was very shocked ever. And, and, and three people complimented my hair. So that was very helpful, but everyone was just so like, hello, how are you doing? I was like, Oh, people, people are good. I'm excited to see people. Like, I guess just, especially in new Orleans, you know, just so much of the city is just like running, like just meeting strangers and just like, feeling their amazing, awesome, fun presence. And I got to do that for a little bit today for like the first time in uh, over a year. So it was amazing. It was, it was very nice. I don't know if I was holding back tears, but I was definitely like, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> like I had a migraine before I got my vaccine and then I felt better afterwards because I was so excited. <laughs> but, Doing a little orange wing here. More happening. It's happening. So I'm doing, um, and I'm actually liking how it's coming out. I'm doing, I'm mixing um, liquid transformer with some of my Satsuma power pigment. Um, and then we will even see if my little fan works out. 
Um, <laughs> Marcy says I also overspent while shopping there. CVS is dangerous with that. I actually like for some reason the other day um, was when I was at CVS, I was like, you know, if someone just said you can get a shopping spree, and if it was just CVS, I'd be like, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, you get everything there. I was like, that's so much cool stuff at the pharmacy now. It used to just be a pharmacy. Um, Andrea, my friends and I have planned our cute vaccine outfits for tomorrow. Okay, well, that's better than me. I didn't, I just threw something on and, and didn't even put makeup on. But uh, that's really cool. Please post pictures <laughs> of vaccine outfits. Yes, put if, them in the look club, please. Yeah, if you are a vaccine outfit, what color would you be? Um, Pepper said I had a sinus thing and it went away after the shot. That's weird. Interesting. That's I swear. Well, my migraine didn't totally go away, but it definitely felt better. I thought it was just because I was excited. Um, but yes, Andrea, please post your vaccine outfits. Um, okay. Okay. All right, let me, I'm gonna try the thing. I'm gonna try the thing. <laughs> um, Marcy said, I wanted to do an outfit but couldn't deal with real clothes. Which is funny, because I feel like I'm wearing <laughs> real clothes most times I leave the house, because I'm just like, this is a big deal. I'm leaving the house, because I don't leave that often. <laughs> so I try to look cute every time. Um, See, I don't feel like I, I feel like I'm, more non-clothes you know like my work now i have i'm required to wear scrubs so i feel like i'm wearing pajamas all day and then when i go home on the weekend you know i've just been working around the house and working on house projects a lot so i end up being in really casual clothes as well and uh yeah it's it's definitely is interesting um, yeah, that's a, that's one thing I actually like, I mean, I hadn't, when I was just started working for electric kind of before all this happened, I was ex like, I loved picking out an outfit every day cause I hadn't gone into an office in so long. And so I definitely, I miss that. I, so I try to keep that up. And luckily the, the look club makes me try to do that with makeup. Um, but I do that as well. If, if I'm going anywhere, I'm probably going to put on makeup because I'm like, this for me. Um, Marcy put on jeans, uh, not leggings, which is my work from home outfit. Hey, leggings are slightly better than yoga pants, I think, or possibly the same. But um, that's, that's what I go with every day, yoga pants. Or I have like this, when it's warm, I have this little like athletic tennis skirt thing. I don't know what I'm trying to show y'all. Here's my butt. Where, where? <laughs> but it's, I wear this kind of little skirt that looks like it's a skirt, but also could be like a swim skirt <laughs> kind of material. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. Human beings, because I haven't talked to anyone besides my husband today. Oh, and all the nice random strangers at, uh, at the convention center. But did everyone watch the, the um, or did anyone in the comments want to hit me up with their take on the Meghan and Harry interview last night, which I don't ever care about anything of current popular culture, but that was, that was a watch. That was a watch. Did you read anything about it or see it, Danielle? No, I didn't. Tell me. Give me the tea or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> give, give it to me. Give me the tea. Um, not iced tea, hot tea. Um, no, so, oh, good, Andrea. I want to hear what you thought. Um, but uh, that was, I felt so bad for them. But um, basically, they just kind of, oh, so much. I don't even know where to begin, but just talk about uh, Megan and um, the, how she was mistreated by the royal family and was pretty much trapped. I mean, I, I was like feeling everything about her story. I just was so like, it, it sounds, it sounds very difficult. Um, I'm sure there's two sides to every story, but also the fact that racism played a part in how she was mistreated by the Royal family, all this stuff. It was like really intense and horrible to watch. Um, but they, they seem like really good people to me. Um, who knew Tyler Perry was a savior for them. Yeah. So they got cut off by the royal family and didn't have any money for security or anything. Um, and the whole world knew where they were. So Tyler Perry was like, 
come live at my house and use my security um, to keep you and your son safe. So um, it was nice to see Oprah Winfrey too. She's uh, such a gem, such a gem of a person. I wasn't like hugely into her show, but every time I watch her, I'm like, what a, what a good person that can teach us all. But anyway, I don't know if anyone has any, any tea or any insider information after that, but I saw some like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say, of course, anytime someone's talking, you never know if they're telling a hundred percent the truth, but I just saw so many negative comments today of people online, like, um, oh, there are real people in the world that have problems. And, and the fact that you're rich and trying to say that you blah, blah, blah. It's like, just because you're rich doesn't mean you're not a real person. You just got different problems. But, and then this woman was posting like, photos of children in Africa saying these are real people with problems and then complaining about her problems. I was like, well, if you have problems and they have problems, then people that uh, everyone has problems. I mean, but it was just, I don't know. I don't know if anyone has any, let's see. Oprah's reaction to the statement when the Royals were concerned over the skin color. Oh yes. Um, so yeah, they made a comment. Someone in the Royal family asked what, how, like how dark the baby would come out. And we're showing concern over that. I love, yeah, that that's was a lot of people's cover photo today of Oprah. Like, what? <laughs> Who had that conversation? Taking the oh. rain down just a little bit. I'm like, oh, let's. I am down. seeing the Miami Dolphins <laughs> so far. A little bit in your in your eyes. All right, let's Hurricane. see. Hurricanes. The dolphins, I think, are they're another kind of bright color combination. So I don't exactly yes. remember. They like teal blue and okay. Oh yes, yeah. Andrea. I don't know anything about that because I truly don't pay any attention to to royal stuff. But I also. I was just in, in, interested in the interview just because, I mean, I want to, like, if it's human struggle, I'm interested in what's going on. And I felt, I, I, I just thought it was a very emotional interview. And, um, but yes, I don't, I, see, I don't know all that. I had a lot of friends that were really obsessed with royal family when I was younger. And I just never, I think, it, yeah, I don't know. I just never got into it. But everyone's a little more into it today, I feel like. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to try to blend. So this is what I was saying, Danielle, like kind of just doing in the center. We'll see. I don't know if this is going to come out at all how I want it. Um, well, not loving what I'm doing. Let's see. Remember, it always looks the worst before it looks the best, right? It, al it always looks bad until it looks good. Um. Let's see, there you go. I just put that on a little strong. All right. <laughs> so, um, sorry I keep on like having this mirror. I'm, I'm just like having a hard time like being like, okay, this is like, <laughs> what, what what does that mean? <laughs> Sorry, I can't, can't paint my face like and talk at the same time. I understand. It is difficult sometimes. Or it's not like I've gotten used to it because this is so fun to do, but I also like can only do a certain degree of difficulty of looks, I feel like, on Look Club because I'm like, I still also have to talk. And in, I, mean, I can talk through anything. I think uh, I need some brows before I... Uh go any further with yeah i did start with i started with brows i was brow ready this time um okay look I don't, i'm already starting to look a little better i kind of look like a sunset a little bit all right um and now i'm going to do the golden the, or excuse me the gin fizz on top which is a very glittery sparkle dust um on top and we'll see how that looks um yeah i think i'll just do yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it 
Um, by the way, you can't, I can't ever tag Jen Fizz in any of our Electra posts on Instagram because they're like, you can't sell alcohol on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. The same with Lafayette Vert because that is means the green fairy. And we have the creative capsules that we use. So if I, it also, we can't sell the creative capsules on Instagram because they say you're trying to sell pills on the internet. And I'm uh. like, not pills, it's makeup. <laughs> but oh, that I need to cluck my brows really bad. I don't know if y'all can see. Not at all. <laughs> you gotta get closer. Um, Has anyone ever gotten their eyebrows threaded? I've always wanted to have that done. That is unbelievable to watch. I mean, you've watched people do it before. Danielle? Have you seen someone do it before, Danielle? So what's everyone's most memorable? Um, <laughs> oh, so, it's amazing to have your brows done. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Yeah, it's, I can't even understand how someone's hands can move that fast. It's it does fast. seem like really crazy. Like they're using a string, right? To pluck out your brows yeah i mean those people must be so talented with their hands i can't even like floss very easily and they're like ripping i can out. barely pluck my brows out with tweezers <laughs> yeah that too let alone rubbing two strings together <laughs> <laughs> it's like um it's like Sorry, starting fire with two sticks um carolyn rosa does it at uptown beauty um, oh, Marcy, are you saying Uptown Beauty does great? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I need to check that place out. It yeah. looks really heard good things. Really yeah. like a cool place. Oh, they are? Yeah. Mm. So, Marcy, where do you get it done at? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I've worked at several spas, but I've never worked at one that had a, um, that did brow threading. I can't find a little baby brush. I'm all, I'm, I'm just, can't find my things tonight. I'm just all, oh wait, here we go. I'm all out of whack. All right, here we go. It's amazing what brows do to your face. Yep. You know, something I did not care about when I was younger, but. So my greatest memory of St. Patrick's Day was Prior to officially moving to New Orleans, Greg and I stayed in New Orleans for like three months. And we rented this crazy little apartment right on Magazine Street. And of course, it just happened to be we were in this apartment during St. Patrick's Day, the St. Patrick's Day parade. And at the time, we were really pretty active in the couch surfing community, which is this weird website where strangers write you and they say, hey, I want to come sleep on your couch. And you're like, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so anyways, long story short, we were doing these meetups um, with couch surfers and there was a local couch surfer. Her name is Robin. And uh, she found out where we lived and she's like, oh my goodness. She's like, can I use your apartment for my birthday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's like, I promise. She's like, I'll do everything. She's like, I just, I mean, it was like the perfect location for St. Patrick's Day. So she's like, I'll arrange for all the food, all the alcohol, Y'all won't have to lift a finger. Y'all won't have to do anything. You'll be obviously at my party because it's at your apartment. <laughs> and um, yeah, so anyways, we said yes. And we made it her birthday plus a big couch surfing meetup. So there were couch surfers kind of from all over the world that were at our house for St. Patrick's Day. And then we also hosted my girlfriend and her 
can't, I don't know if they were married at the time, either fiance or husband. I, I can't remember. Her name is Patty, Patty and Alex. So they came down and I mean, it was just like the most amazing day because there's nothing like having a party at your house where you don't have to worry about <laughs> anything and you just kind of really have to enjoy it. And it was so much fun. I mean, we just, and it, they, the, the theme of the party that she had was like, a, she wanted to have a mustache party. So everyone had these like fake mustaches on and her cake was shaped like a mustache. And uh, it was so, it was just one of those magical New Orleans experiences that is like, whoa, that was amazing. It, that the night ended with a guy with bagpipes playing in our living room. I mean, it was like, That's awesome. it was uh, pretty, pretty wild as far as, uh, as far as uh, holidays go and craziness. Um, Pepper, who's also, her real name is Patty, said that she thought the day was just for her, but apparently there was another Patty that was with you. So, um, that sounds awesome though, Danielle. Um, so I think my friend now goes by Patricia, but, um, there you go. There you go. <laughs> um, I have still never done the New Orleans, um, St. Patty's Day because I always go to Baton Rouge to this Patty who's in this group um, to her house. She always has a big party. Um, no, have we had bagpipes there, Patty? Um, by the way, Marcy is in Houston, Danielle. So she's giving you a recommendation if you get your brows done in Houston. All right. I don't think my eye did the thing I was wanting it to, but I like it. So I'm going with it. I'm just trying to figure out how to integrate that green. Mm -mm. All right. I, I feel like it sounds like Patty has a pretty sweet pad. <laughs> like it <laughs> seems very well located for all of the Baton Rouge going on. It is. She's in mid city and um, right off the St. Patrick's day route. So she's about half a block off. So you can go run and pee, but you're not, it's not in front of your house. And um, she's right by city park in LSU lakes and no bagpipes, unfortunately at her party yet. So instead of doing the parade, they're just going to hang out on, on, on her front front in her front yard. She says um, is what they're doing. Okay. I'm mixing desire. I did it dry first and now I'm doing it. Oh, Ooh, I, I like the green underneath. Really, I'm not loving it yet, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I wanted to do it more like, eek, um, just kind of more subtly as a shadow and less like such a line. But, <clears throat> but let's see, maybe I'll integrate a little green into the corners of the shaddy of my, my upper eyeshadow. Let's see. Orange and green is kind of hard together. <laughs> it's going to look good, but it's it's just because they're two colors. It's not like, oh, blue and green that will naturally blend together or orange and gold. You know, although I did do orange and gold at the top, which I am liking. But um, I'm going to integrate some green. But um, I think I'm going to do glitter freckles with the bolt bomb. So I'm excited about that. Ooh, freckles would be super cute with the bolt bomb. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's do a little green up her. Okay, that's that's getting better. I know. Oh. Mascara makes a huge difference too. Oh yeah. Brows and mascara. I know that's again, like, I feel like if, when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, concealer, I have to have concealer everywhere. I, I mean, I still am like that, but now I'm like, as long as my brows don't look insane. Oh Lord, what am I doing? Okay. Let me come in and blend here a little bit. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, pretty. I'm blending out this desire and I don't know if it's just the gold undertones of the desire or if I'm getting some of this little gin fizz, but you'll see how pretty this green is blending out. It's pretty. So it is kind of, I'm liking it a little more with the orange because it's, I'm seeing the green, the gold undertone a little bit better. Oops, that's the wrong brush. Oops. How did it do over here? Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. oh, I always like, my eyebrows are so uneven. I need to not go with my eyebrows because they're I, a lot. I really, 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 really like how that gin fizz looks in the center. It's yes. amazing how gin fizz just kind of transforms the look. It do. It is so pretty. Um, I bought a concealer brush. It's Amaze Balls. What um what brand? What brand? Oh, I'm doing the wrong side. I'm fixing the side that looks good. Um, what brand ever did you buy a concealer brush? Because I'm so bad about. I just always use my finger, <laughs> or I have like a blending brush I use for some concealer, but for my day to day, I don't like it. I feel like it wastes too much and I don't like the way it lays on, but I also am bad about not using enough product. And don't be skimpy. Cause it's like, I'll be skimpy about product and then it goes bad because I didn't use it. Cause I was like, it was oh, yeah. nice. I didn't want to use it all. Like that's crazy. That's what it's for. But that is a thing our brains do. I should have waited to put that gin fizz on until I was done, but, um, well, inquiring minds needs no pepper with the, what the concealer brush is. Um, oh, what foundation does everyone use? I've never used foundation, um, for a day to day, like I do for performance, but that's it. And that's really thick. But, and, um, I know a lot of people do like bare minerals, that's not enough. Like when I've tried that, I'm like, no, this is not enough. So does anyone have a good light foundation that they use that's like thin, but they don't have to also put on concealer? Cause I usually just wear concealer here, here and here. And then I just put powder everywhere else. I don't even. Ugh. See, I feel like that's what I do. I use concealer and powder. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't keep on the fix a side that's done. I'll come in and I liked where I was going and now I don't know. Now I just don't know. Yeah, I feel like it gets a little muddled, the green and orange. It's hard not to make it ugly. I use NARS Sheer. Um, see, that's good to know because I use that's NAR ow. Um I have my arms starting to get a little sore. NARS, um, I use that's my concealer. Radiant creamy concealer. I've been using that for probably the last 10 years. Love NARS, so I bet I would like their concealer, or excuse me, their foundation. Concealer and powder, same here. Yeah, okay, all right, well, so maybe I'm not crazy, but I think I'm just getting to the point where I have enough redness and um, just mild scarring and such that that I should have some foundation, but. See, I feel like your skin looks good, Katie. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, I feel like full foundation might be too much. Yeah, I, I, I kind of just want, I mean, I, uh, I kind of just want options for like weddings and stuff like day to day. I don't, I don't know. You know what y'all, you've convinced me. I'm just going to do the exact same thing I've been doing. And I also keep fixing the wrong eye. <laughs> All right, let's see. How are we doing? Mm-hmm. Trying to keep this green and orange from muddling up. Okay, it's looking better. Mm -hmm. See, I think I I lost most of my gin fizz in me trying to um do blend these two colors together. So I gotta reapply some and. For redness, I use Tiger Grass. Si si I can't say that, but si some, something sick affair. It all sick affair. No, I'm not sure what that is. But is that like a, a cream or like a night cream or a, um, 
you put it under makeup. Oop, there you go. I just popped a little bit of liquid transformer to get the gin fizz right in this specific spot. And then um, it is from Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart sounds like a. Oh, I've heard about that brand. You've heard about that brand, huh? It's a cream color correction. I've correct heard under. about that brand. Oh. Oh, yeah. And I used to like, remember when they were really popular in the 90s, those like green, yellow, and di different like color correctors that you would put under makeup. They had like green, yellow, I don't know, maybe orange. I don't know. But I haven't seen those in a long time. All right. I think I'm just going to move on. I kind of, I undid my pretty gin fizz. I'm a little bummed about it, but gotta keep, gotta keep moving. All right. I gotta look up Dr. Jart. I don't know why it just reminds me. Jart reminds me of like Jort. And I'm like, wouldn't it be funny <laughs> if you had a Dr. Jort. <laughs> Jart, Jart reminds me of Shart. <laughs> no, or Dr. Jart. Poor old Dr. Jart. Yes, this has an SPF, and allegedly, if you wear it every day, it reduces redness. That's good to know. Poor old Dr. Jart. All right, hang on. I have a whining puppy. Let me figure out what's going on. What, baby? No, you hush. You know me, I like to add an extra color in every now and again. So I have a little bit of flirty. I'm going to see if I can kind of pop it in with the Satsuma to kind of make it a little DACA. And then I'll probably use Andrea says she buys the Travel sizes of Dr. Jean shorts, excuse me, chart. I feel like I kind of messed up the pretty eye. Just kind of blending, putting the glitter out before I blended it. But I'm going to move on to hush, baby. Oh, I hear another baby. I know. My husband's hanging outside with two of his friends, so she's probably... Jealous she can't get to them. Oh, also earlier you were saying, you're like, oh, I'm tired today. And I was too after my migraine. So I was like, I'm going to try to take a nap. I haven't taken a nap in a while, but I can I can do me some napping. And um, a full like seven piece band started playing, hooked up major sound, like right outside of my window in my neighbor's backyard. <laughs> they were doing a live stream. They didn't, they don't even live there. I don't know what, what happened. But it was, I mean, it was like 4.30 p.m., so I didn't complain because, hey, it's live music. But I was like, you think they could have left a note? I mean, it was like, full, I mean, I, the whole neighborhood kept walking over like, what is going on? Um, but I wish I was in the mood because I could have just watched it from my deck. But instead, I was just tried to nap and then thought, you know what? I'm just going to sit in the shower. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick migraine fix. Oh my gosh, I said I was going to stop doing what I'm doing, trying to fix it, and then I just went for it again. Ugh. Always do glitter last. I know that. I know that. And yet, here I am, learning the same lesson. At least, but I know how. I know how to wear a fanny pack now. Um, so funny when I would get embarrassed when my mom would wear a fanny pack in the 90s and you know, I, then I started wearing fanny packs when I was dog walking and I was like, okay, it's a little embarrassing. And now I'm like, I don't even care. I like it. I like fanny packs. And now they're pretty much. I love a fanny pack. Yeah. A cute one. Fun one. I have one, a fun one right here. Oh, oh, oh. Danielle, I got this one with you actually at the thrift store. Um, oh yeah. Upside down. That, on that one. That one's really cool. Yeah. A dog. Katie and I love to thrift. I know. I'm excited. Um, We're going to do some thrifting this weekend. I've kind of planned it out. Oh, good. 
Yay. Um, if you want to go thrifting Thursday night. <laughs> oh my, I, get, I don't get into like 10 o'clock or nine something. Um, fanny packs are groovy, Pepper says. There you go. Were fanny packs around in the 70s even? Okay. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do green glitter as my eyeliner, but I feel like I should do a darker eyeliner under it first, like a black. All right. I liked that I added a little pink into this just to oops, pop it a little bit. Oh, that does a look little, a little flirty. Um, Elizabeth says, in dog walking, I fell back in love with fanny packs. And Andrea says, we use fanny packs for parades. And I need more. I think I have two fanny packs. Well, and a, like a plain black one for dog walking. But I have two fun ones. Which is not enough. I mean, I think my mom has way more than that. My mom has a big, big gold one that is like you can get, you can fit like a full water bottle in a fanny pack. What more do you need in life? What more? I ask. I, I ask. want fanny packs that hold champagne bottles, like two of them. Okay, <laughs> just one would be <laughs> already a large request. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you put that um, flirty, that pink on your? Uh... I just kind of did it right along the top, just to kind of like pop the line a little bit to just, you know, make it a little darker. And this is my little concealer that I love. It's a little travel size, bye bye under eye. Um, What's that? It's It Cosmetics. Oh, I just finished. So, I just finished the um, the book from It Cosmetics founder, Jamie Lynn Kerma or something like that. Um, she has a really good book she just came out with. Maybe fanny packs with holsters for drinks. Oh, my God. And that's what Andrew said at the exact same time. Group mind, y'all. Okay. Marcy, meet Andrea. Uh, y'all get together on events. <laughs> Um, get a patent for a champagne holster. Oh my God. That sounds like y'all made that up for me because. Yes. The champagne holsters. That's what I need. <laughs> that's what I need. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. You would look not to mention like you have the champagne right there, which is awesome. But I feel like that would be the perfect. Like. Mary Antoinette kind of. I don't know finish you would look so badass no matter i think what costume you can okay i'm doing a really funky i'm not i'm not i don't know about me tonight y'all <laughs> covid vaccine side effect not great eyeshadow <laughs> no i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there all right i'm adding a little green just underneath my wing and then into the under eye. For Renfest, we have straps for our mugs with clips to attach the drinks on our belts. Yes, I have that too, but I feel like champagne holster sounds much cooler. I mean, I'm I'm hooked immediately. You could sell me on Facebook right now. Um, then you can quick draw and pop it. That's right. Quick draw with the champagne. Um, I love me some champagne. That's why I got some acrylic earrings, or excuse me, acrylic necklace that I got uh, custom made that says pop and bottles. And then we posted it on an electro photo where I'm wearing it. And someone was like, oh my God, please tell me where to get that necklace. I have to get it for my daughter. And I don't know why I felt worse being like, um, I got that custom made because of all the phrases and names in the world that I could have put on a necklace. That's the one I thought I would wear the most. <laughs> and I don't wear it all the time. I just thought my name, I don't know. I couldn't figure out, I didn't want my name. I just wanted something that I could wear for parties. And I thought, hey, popping bottles. They make one for wine bottles, so like champagne bottles. Oh, the Renfair. Hmm. My husband's a leather worker, so maybe I'll, 
Maybe y'all get the patent and my husband can make your holster. We can. Oh, that would be cool. That would definitely sell. Oh, I got black under my eye. Oh, no. All right, let's try to get this. We went to Total Wine and bought a couple of bottles. Um, yes, Total Wine is totally amazing, y'all. All right, I have to. Now that we're talking about Total Wine, it makes me thirsty. I'm doing the 40 days no alcohol. Oh, when did you start that? For it's like for NOLA.com or something and Oshner Ost Hospital. I didn't do like the official one where you register and they test your blood. Like oh, Lord. before. There's this thing. You, they test your blood like right after Mardi Gras. And then you do 40 days without alcohol. And then they, t they take your picture. You take your picture before. And then supposedly they take your picture again after and they test your blood again. And they're like, voila, you're very healthy now. Yeah, I want to do that. Um, I didn't know that they. I didn't know. Well, that next year we'll do it. Yeah, we're um we're drinking like maybe once a week. The like. I mean, I'm doing. I'm doing. Like I said, I'm doing the forty days just, just to do it. Um, uh, Pepper said I did the forty minutes without wine. Forty minutes. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Marcy went to Total Wine and spent four hundred dollars. I was like, we have a problem, but we hadn't restocked in a while. We did the same thing, Marcy, at the beginning of quarantine because I've never drank at my house before. Like, I mean, not before. Like, we had a party or whatever, but like, we don't drink at home. We would just, you know, go to events, go to a show. We would drink. Um, so we didn't have any alcohol in the house, nor did we almost ever keep any, even like beer and stuff. And um, so then when we total wine open, it was so cheap and we just went nuts. Like we, I was like, wow, because we actually were like, now we can actually have a bar. Yeah, that slowly disappeared. But I actually prefer drinking at home. Am I the only one that's like that? I do not like drinking at a bar because I am very thrifty when it comes to that sort of thing. You got to know the right places to go, but yeah, I yeah, mean, probably cheaper at home either way. Uh, Andrea said she started dancing in the aisles, and the employees looked at me strangely and then followed me around the store at Total Wine. Yeah, it is that feeling. I know now. Every time I get the champ, like I know how much everything costs at. Well, I know how much everything costs at every store. Um, I don't know if y'all are like that, but I memorize how much everything costs at every store. And that was one of the ones, like, now I know how much everything we drink is at Total Wine. So then we'll go to Win dixie I'm like, this champagne is $9.99 at Total Wine, and it's $15.99 here. That is ridiculous. And then I just, like, can't buy it because I can't bring myself to do it. Um, Marcy said some dude was like, I'm going home with y'all when she had, when she bought $400 worth of liquor. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. New friend. Um... Elizabeth says, I prefer to drink at home or at friends. See, I mean, I think that's probably the better way to do it. I just never did. I just never did it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing that definitely learned because of quarantine. Like, I used to, but also I, you know, as a performer, I would go out, you know, at least three nights a week. And so I would just drink on the nights I went out and then I would not ever drink any other night because you're already drinking three nights a week. That's already too much. Um, so it's definitely uh, me learning. Oh, we don't have to go out. It will be nice to go do something like once a week. Won't that be exciting? I am doing, I'm going, I'm hoping that this green. Um, uh, oh, I like the liner, the green liner. Yeah, I was hoping it would just fix everything. And it, it's getting, I think it is. I mean, I'm still not loving everything I did, but it's definitely detracting away from it. This looks so good. I love um, glitter microfine liner, and I don't do it as much as I used to. That's what look clubs for. Marcy says, I like drinking on the back porch with dinner. Oh, that sounds nice. What's the weather like in Houston right now? It's um, it's nice here currently. It's been like, it's actually been such a weird temperature in Louisiana. It's like, reminds me of New York City because it's like 65 and sunny and no clouds. And I'm like, this isn't Louisiana. Where the heck are we? 
I love that lipstick, Danielle says Andrea and Marcy Thanks. says love Lush flash moth one of my favorite colors so I love that you're going uh I'm gonna pop a little uh satsuma on top of it as a topper I love topping lipsticks with the pigments it's just just adds a nice little like shimmer shine and you can kind of change the tone of the lipstick so Agreed. see if I can get it to kind of coordinate with my little uh wing that i did this evening coordinate y'all here oh no i didn't let my i didn't let my uh my liner dry before i look up i gotta fix that go cool to fix that well, this poor eye looked so good and then i just mm. Eh, it's all right. Eh, it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara first. So I'm just popping a little, little orange on the top, just to kind of little Satsuma get that orange vibe. Oh, look how pretty is that? Oh yeah, that is good. Oh yeah, I did that this uh, or a couple weekends ago. We went um, to the my sister came in town and we went to um the always lounge we went outside to go see the um peep show which is a fun little thing we got our fortune read and um i uh oh my gosh why i totally forgot what i was saying oh i found my new fortune favorite red peep yeah show I, outside. Think I found my new favorite i put blue by you over a, a blue lipstick that I had and it a blue bayou pigment over a like a matte blue lipstick I have from another brand and it did not come off on my mask at all. I didn't even let the it cure. I like put on the dry pigment over a dry lipstick and it lasted all night. It looked so good and I kept my mask on the whole time and didn't even come off. But I was able to I still wear crazy lipstick when I go out even though my face is covered 99% of the time. But I don't care. It's for me. Um, all right. All right. Time for me to go in with the magical, magical color that is gin fizz that we can't sell on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I know. I keep trying to fight it, but I keep coming back and being like, no, we checked. It's alcohol. <laughs> like, okay. Fine. I can't believe how slow oh, I am. Yeah. Well, it's all good. All right. Okay. And now I'm going to do quick, 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 quick. Concealer. Boop, boop, boop. And then I'm going to move on to lips. See, this is where I barely use any. And then I'm like, I don't want to use a beauty blender because don't use enough actually that was a good bit but don't use enough product to actually make a beauty blender oh yeah i'm all over the place because i definitely just should have done my concealer before my liner under eyeliner at least but i think i'm going to integrate a little bit of orange underneath and And then move on. Yeah, so have I ever done... So the Irish, they, they, they do normally have freckles, right? Or a lot of them because they're redheads. Am I... Am I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, true. I didn't even think about it. I just thought it would look good with this <laughs> bolt bomb. But I have a ginger husband, an Irish ginger, and he does not have freckles. But let's see, Andrea, yeah, you should no be able freckles? to... A support ticket to get that case approved. Might want to change the name to Gin Fizz Power Payment or other keywords to let them know it's not booze. Yeah, I put in a ticket like twice and it's no just. Money. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. There we go. A little more concealer. Oop, there we go. So backwards. Like, I, I mean, I've never will get used to looking in the mirror and being like, wait, what? Sorry. 
I finally learned how to curl my hair. That's something I learned during. Actually, I think I learned that before quarantine. Ooh, I'm liking it, Katie. Thanks. Looking so the good. eyeliner, the eyeliner, mascara, and uh, concealer fix it. <laughs> good. Mm. I'm excited about the lipstick and the bolt bomb. So I'm, now I spent way too much, <laughs> way too long on the other stuff. So, um, and actually, I'm excited. What did you did you do blush, Danielle? I'm sorry. Did you do blush? Uh, just a little, but I just used my regular blush. But it's kind of an orangey col color. Whoop! I put too much on that. Wanted to do. Oh, that's pretty. Put that Satsuma. Ooh, it's like you already have a highlighter on. Is it just like, oh, it's so good. Sazerac is like one of my new favorite blushes, a power pigment, but you just, that's really pretty too. Look how pretty that's going to be in the summer. That's one thing I need to, I just started using power pigments as blush and they're so pretty. All right. Um, okay. Now. I'm going to do a quick lip. I'm just going crazy with the. <laughs> I'm just going crazy. <laughs> um, I am going to now put Satsuma on my lips. Yeah, that's pretty, Danielle. Awesome as a blush. Pretty, Marcy says. Thank y'all. Yes, I really like it. I mean, and it doesn't, you see, it, it doesn't look that orange. Like if I didn't have orange on my eyes you wouldn't even know that it was orange it just is like a pretty coral almost with a gold highlighter on the top all right and i'm gonna do quick and dirty satsuma mixed with our clear mint glaze sticky clear lip gloss and then i'm gonna do gin fizz in the middle obviously i could do this better looking but when you spend an hour on your eyes. <laughs> yeah, for Mardi Gras day, like I literally spent five hours getting ready. And uh, oh, wow. I, I mean, cause I just was my, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm taking so long. My husband's like, we're not, this is the whole day is just do whatever you want to do. And if it's get ready to go nowhere, then do that. And I knew like almost no one was going to see me, but. I still did it. Oh, I got a whiny puppy. Whiny puppy. All right. All right. And now I'm going to do a little gin fizz. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if it's. I don't know if you can really. It's not really uh, focusing on it, but it looks pretty from here. Ooh, it like kind of like. Just liquefies into it. Hello. Okay, Purdy. I love that bolt bomb application, Danielle. Uh, Pepper says. Thanks. I'm just using my finger today. Wow. How did you do that so fast? I didn't even. <laughs> I'm putting extra blush on because I put too much, but I'm going to just let it. Ah! I'm gonna do freckles though, so it might be cute. Oh, I might actually put a little on my nose to go where the freckles are going. Okay, here we go. Danielle does, um, her, I, I like to do my freckles with a napkin or a um, Q-tip. So I'm gonna start with, that is so cool, Danielle. Thanks. It's kind of wow. like. Do that so fast. I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of going back over the top to, to lay it down as flat as possible. The um, the fans are clamoring and the, the, the comments are going wild. Well, two people like it and <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. That's crazy looking. Eeky. I did mine kind of low. These aren't looking as much like freckles, but just go a little bit higher. Gosh, I love the um, the gold glitter in Irish Channel. Um, 
the fire opal kind of, I guess, face. How did you get them? Thank you. How did you get them to clump so well, Danielle? Your um I just put like a little, like just a tiny little bit, like almost each one was a like a little fingerprint. So like I just used a little stamping motion, kind of like stamp sweep, stamp sweep, stamp sweep. Stamp sweep. She makes it look easy. <laughs> You're so good with dots. I feel like you've done so many dots. Oh my gosh, speaking of amazing, uh, Marcy, I don't know if you're in our Facebook group. Let me know if you're not. If you are not, I'm going to um, link it up in here. Actually, I'll just do it in a second. But um, Andrea posted this unbelievable uh, uh, leopard look in. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, like, like, seriously. And please, everyone, share your St. Patty's Day looks. Yeah. Uh, if you have on parades or porch mm -hmm. parades or, you know, if you're in a place where stuff is a little open and you can, you know, party responsibly. This is a judgment-free zone here. You're welcome, Andrea. I'm um, going to, um, Marcy, I'm going to link you. Go ahead, Danielle. Sorry. Oh, I'm just looking. I'm like, I have green earrings to finish this darn look. And now I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> and they were like literally right in front of me, but I still can't find them. I like you brought them over. Um, sorry, Marcy, I just uh, messaged you the group and then you can just request to join. And then we share our looks in there. So we'll share our posters. Thank you. Well, oh, excuse me, Danielle and I will post our final like photos of our looks um, that we'll take later tonight. And, our glamour um, shots. Our glamour <laughs> and um, and Andrew, I always feel like it's a glamour shot. It is. I mean, I'm very dramatic. Um, yeah, and so and then sometimes people will later do their looks of whatever our prompt was. So Andrea did that. We did animals, and then she did animal. She did a leopard, which I was so glad she did because I wanted to try a leopard and she did it much better. And I was like, Oh, I just wanted to, you know, I, once you have the idea, I just wanted to see it done. I it was glad I didn't have to do it because she did a great job. But um, other times Marcy people just post any photo, like if they just feel cute and they're like, okay, I don't feel like posting this selfie to the world, but look, I did my makeup and I tried something new. So it's a fun place to put that yeah, kind it of definitely stuff. doesn't have to be like trying to replicate a look that we made. It can be like your very own, like, Oh, look, I, it's Monday and I put makeup on. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be Electra products. Just, it's just a place to learn about makeup and, and maybe sometimes brag a little bit. <laughs> it's like, I did this. Look, thank you. People who care. All right. I kind of want a little nuts on the, um, on the freckles, but I love the white. Um, Marcy says I am in, I missed the leopard love yeah it's amazing I, I can't believe andrew how long did it take you to do that because that was so good all right you look so cute danielle thank you so do you thank you i'm i'm trying to decide if i'm missing i i like i just feel like my i kind of muddled up my eyeshadow and i'm trying to figure out if i need to do anything to i don't know i don't know do you think i'm, I'm i literally looking? lost my earrings <laughs> you, just said you showed them to me at the beginning. I so know you, when I sat down, right? And I um, like looked underneath everything. Yes, you had them. It was about an hour and a half to do the leopard look. Oh lord, y'all! I just take forever. Oh, <laughs> I looked under everything except for my, except for the thing it was under. All right, I'm the last thing myself. Why do you do that? Um. There yeah. I'll, we go. Always use glitter last on. That's that's the one thing I, I kind of messed up with my shaddy. Look how cute this, these freckles are. I kind of overdid them, but, like, I, I think I did too many of them. Or maybe I just need to, like, make Ooh, it. that's what I forgot. I forgot to use the green glitter. What the heck? All right, Daniel, right, well, figure it out real quick. I'll where try am to I going to put some green glitter before, do, before we're done, done? I know where to put it. I'm okay. Gonna just... I'm just gonna do a little accentuation at, on my wing, just like 
right underneath. underneath. Where's my little brushy I was using? There we go. And so for this one, I'm just combining the glitter and the gel transformer. And then I'll just paint it on. I love the white in that bowl bomb. Me too. I love it. It's, um, well, Danielle is the one who actually makes the bowl bombs, but she said, I think white is sometimes a hard color to make work as far as glitter is concerned. But, um, this one and be mine are my favorite with white in it. Like they're so, it just makes it so cute. It's cute. So I feel. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. And I'm just coming in, undoing everything. <laughs> uh, remember when I had all that gold glitter in the center? <laughs> remember those times, guys? Remember. Oh. All right. Just there try. There we go. I'm gonna try to get that back. I'm gonna try to get that feeling back, y'all. I could also, if I really wanted to get a little crazy, I could go. Oh, maybe. What do you get? I, I was, yeah, I was wondering to do that, but it looked so good. I was like, I don't, oh, that's cool though. See, you're so good with that kind of, that and Andrea, y'all are so good with that kind of design stuff. I can't, I can't be like sculptural like that. I don't know if that's the right word, but you'll have a, a loose hand, a free hand, free hand. <laughs> and that's the word. I think that's the one. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna try to add back a little bit of that. Gin Fizz. And if you have never seen us use Gin Fizz or you've never seen Gin Fizz, you've heard about us talk about powdered sugar. This is just the gold version or the, the white gold version actually. We have a gold. This gold. is like the gold version of powdered sugar. Right. That's what I was saying. But it actually. Whereas powdered sugar has more like a silvery iridescent tone. This has like that gold iridescent mm -hmm. tone. I mm -hmm. don't know if you can see. I really almost did my entire under eye area in it just for, uh, you know, this is this is in a. Okay, I think I'm fixing it. Kind of wish I had some lashes. And I, I don't have anyone have any um, suggestion of mascara that is volumizing. Like it makes, yeah, volumizing. I don't care about length. I don't care about curl. I just care about volumizing. I hate, I feel like all the mascaras nowadays are like, look, it's so long, but then you, they look like spidery. I use Clinique and I'm like, I've used this for years and I don't even really like it that much. Um, I got a, all the other good volumizing ones I've used. I feel like they um, fall under your eyes. There's a lot of fallout from them. That's one problem I have. Are you going to the HQ this week, Katie? Um, I wasn't going to, but I can. Uh, I'm, I'm realizing that I'm, uh, my mascara is very dry. I'm like, I know I have a pretty brand new tube of mascara at home, but I don't have it here. I don't know. I'll let you know. But um, let's see. I hear good things about Sky High Mascara. I don't remember the brand, but it's a drugstore brand. I'll have to see that one. See, but a lot of the, then that one might be super long, but not wide <laughs> but not volumizing yeah oh that is cool danielle all right i think we did it i think we got it yeah we're, we're ready to go to a parade we're ready for you know to get some sloppy kisses kisses from some drunk irish jello shots <laughs> covid um, kisses vegetables uh, thrown at us we're ready i think i fixed my eyes again i don't really know i i love i love how yours turned out it's thank very you cool um, I like the I like the Satsuma um, as a blush, and then I did it across the bridge of my nose, so it looks like freckly. I feel. A, thanks, Marcy. Um, oh, watch out, Danielle! Let her hair down. The lioness 
is coming. The hair is coming down. To Rome. Um, okay. Well, it's thank you. It's crazy because so it's been a ponytail for so long. Much for tuning in. Um, oh, we, uh, if you, I'm also going to do, if you, um, we just sent out a new uh, Bolt Bomb video. We started Bolt Bomb video series with our newsletter, The Extra Extra, because um, it's all, uh, Electra news, but also it's for people that are extra like myself, Danielle, and you, I'm sure. Um, and um, yeah, so if you have not joined the extra extra, um, I'm going to post a link, hang on, um, where you can put in your email address. But we put, um, we just put out our first couple of videos. Let's see if I have the link. And um, nope, page not found. I'll find it and I'll put it in the. Um, in the group. Um, thanks again, y'all. Uh, happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, throw your- Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, invite a friend next time. We'll be back in two weeks. And please, please, please post your St. Patty's looks. Hey. Or your put makeup on on Monday look. Whatever, whatever you want to share with us. We love to see it. Doesn't have to be Electra products. Come yeah. hang out with us at the look club. Yeah, put your. I put on jeans to get my vaccine <laughs> <laughs> makeup. I wore um, glitter to get my vaccine. Please tag us. <laughs> thank you, Marcy. I should have worn glitter today. Uh, it was fun uh, for us too. Thank you all so much. We'll see you in the group. Awesome. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for watching.